Getting started with Claret Apri. Focusrite Control. In the last video, I showed you how to install Focusrite Control, but I'm going to do it again. So double click on the PKG, click on Continue, Continue again, agree to the licensing agreement, and click on Install. Continue the installation, type in your password, and the software will install. It'll also install the drivers you need to use the unit, so it's important that you install this. On completion, restart your machine. Now open a finder window, head to Applications, and click and drag Focusrite Control onto the dock. Now click on it to run it. When you start Focusrite Control for the first time, it will ask you to upgrade the firmware on your Claret interface. Click on the Update Now button. The update will take about a minute to complete. You'll need to allow Focusrite Control to update the firmware on your interface, or you won't be able to use it with Focusrite Control. The first screen allows you to create a new monitor or output mix for your Claret interface. Or you can simply load the last mix that was saved to the device. These are predefined monitoring presets for quick output routing, but we're going to set up a new monitor mix. So to set up a hardware input, I click on this section here and simply tick all of the analog inputs I want to create. To uncheck, simply click on them again. You can add SPDIF inputs and ADAT inputs. But here, I'll create four inputs, and I'm going to label them. Guitar mic, guitar DI, bass, and vocals. In the software door playback section, I'm going to create two mono outputs, one and two here, Or you can simply create a stereo output channel like so. It's worth noting that adding these channels to the mixer are only for your output mixes and will not affect the audio going into the door for recording. You'll also need to add output channels to your mix if you want to hear the audio from your computer or door software. By default, audio will be sent out of your software on channels 1 and 2. Here we're choosing playback channels 1 and 2 which sends software outputs 1 and 2 directly to analog outputs 1 and 2. We can also switch back to our custom mix. Creating headphone mixes is really easy. Simply click on line outputs 7 and 8, which is output 1 on the Apri, and adjust the mix. So in this mix, we want less guitar, less bass and more vocals. And then if we click on line outputs 9 and 10 or headphone output 2, we can have more guitars, less bass and very little vocals. You can then label these headphone mixes appropriately. And go to file and save the snapshot so that you can recall it in future sessions. Loopback. Loopback allows you to record software outputs from your computer back into the software. This is useful if you want to sample audio from one piece of audio software to another. To set this up, scroll down to the Loopback tab on the left of Focusrite Control. Here outputs one and two are set to go to the Loopback inputs on the Claret. On the Apri, this means that the main software output channels of your computer can be recorded into input channels 11 and 12 in your door software. You need to make sure that you mute the track that you're recording to in your door software in order to prevent a feedback loop. The Device Settings tab allows you to change hardware settings for the interface. 
Here we can activate air mode for the mic preamps. You can also switch between line and instrument modes on input channels 1 and 2. The sync light lets you know that you're synchronised. This is your software build number. This is the information about the hardware connected. You can change your sample rate here and check your clock source here. Normally this will be set to internal, which means that the interface clocks to itself. If you have a piece of equipment connected to either the ADAT or SPUDIF inputs, you should change your clock source to the relevant setting. If everything's clocked together correctly, the sync status will display locked. The SPUDIF source drop-down allows you to choose whether the SPUDIF input channels take their signal from the RCA coaxial SPUDIF input or from the optical SPUDIF input. The monitor control buttons allow you to choose the channels which have their output level controlled by the monitor dial on the front of the interface. Here we have 1 and 2 selected and in the routing mixing page you can see that the volume control for outputs 1 and 2 is green, which means that the monitor dial on the front of the unit is controlling the level to those outputs. If we then choose channels 1 to 4, you'll see that the level is being controlled from the monitor dial on all of those outputs. This completes the getting started videos for Claret Apri. Thanks for watching.